Hi there, I'm Andrew from Tremendous Health. And today I'm going to demonstrate for you how your cells and how your body responds to the vibrations and sounds of crystal scene balls and gong. And I'm also going to show you the difference between a ball which is tuned in 432 hertz and a ball which is tuned to 440 hertz. And there's, there's a whole heap of stuff about that on the internet but I've never really seen anyone actually mic up an acoustic instrument which is tuned to the two different frequencies. So I think this is going to be pretty new. It might be a really big revelation. So how we're going to demonstrate all this is by using this device here. So what you can see is a black plate and on top is some sand. And I'm going to add a little bit more sand uh, immediately now before I forget. Um, so we've got a random nice even supply of sand I think on the top of here. So underneath this is a speaker. So as the speaker sounds and vibrates, it will vibrate this plate and it will make the sand on top dance and it will form patterns. So if there's a dissonant sound, it's going to look a bit messy. If there's a more harmonious sound, it's going to look like a pretty shape. And that's how your cells are responding. Your shell, your, as, as your body receives sound, it's going to move and morph in, in the same way that the sand will. So uh, to my left are some crystal singing bowls. If you've never seen these before, they they look like Tupperware. I, I, I promise I didn't get them from a mum's house. Uh, this is uh, a note, a, a crystal singing bowl which is tuned to the note A, and it's tuned in a frequency of 432 hertz. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to activate the bowl, and we're going to see what patterns emerge on the plate. So here we go. So obviously if I, if I keep playing, you know, these, these shapes are going to become more and more obvious and more symmetrical. And I think that's pretty obvious. And there's a whole heap of stuff on the internet that shows you, um, you know, different frequencies and, and how these plates respond. But as I said, I've never really seen anyone actually do it with instruments before. So I, uh, I thought this might be interesting. And of equal interest, I've now just changed the bowl. This is an F bowl. So this is a bowl which is tuned to the note F. It's also in 432 hertz. So this is the um, you know, supposedly very harmonious frequency, which uh, I think you're going to see it is. So we'll just add a little bit more sand, and we'll just muddle up the pattern a little bit. So, so we've got a nice bass line. And let's see what the F note can produce. Again, we're seeing a, a lovely symmetrical pattern beginning to emerge. We're getting a lovely little eye in the middle and some, some nice little corners emerging and, and a lovely little wave around the side just framing that. So, you know, I think that looks really nice and I think we probably, you would agree with me that that's actually quite also a harmonious uh, instrument to listen to. But let's mix it up again. <laughs> Add a little bit more sand. Each time we, each time we do this, there's a little bit more... Um, sand sort of dances off and lands on the table so here we go again so this is this is now an f note it's going to sound a semitone higher it's it's in the it's, it's tuned to 440 hertz and if we believe all the stuff that we see a lot of the stuff that we see on the internet you know you might think that this isn't going to look very good let's find out what it does A surprise for some uh, it's actually a really pretty pattern and you know this is a slightly louder ball it has a slightly brighter sound to it so it's it's a uh, the, the, the shapes have, have emerged a lot quicker than than the other ball that I played so as you can see both are 
actually pretty harmonious for your cells. If, if, uh, if, if this is uh, the evidence uh, that, that displays you know, how our cells are performing. So, we're going to mix all this up again. We'll just do a little bit of this. And maybe just add a little bit more sand. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play the gong. So the gong that I've chosen today, it's one of my favorites. It's a Paiste gong, which is tuned to the vibration of the sun. Which sounds a little bit crazy, but go with me. You can measure the vibration of all the different celestial bodies. Because everything in the universe is vibrating. So let me just adjust my microphone here. And you will see now this amazing Paiste gong. So it's a fantastically deep sounding gong. I absolutely love it. I'm just uh, moving the microphone a little bit. I'm just going to increase the amplification a little bit more as well. The closest note, the fundamental note, is a B note. I absolutely love this. So I hope, I hope you enjoy the sun gong. Let's see what it does on the plane. what's emerged on the, on, the, on the plate you know different despite how I played it when I played it fast when I played it a little bit slow a little bit harder a little bit softer we saw different patterns emerge on the plate so what I infer from that is that the sounds from this gong you know have a tremendously positive effect on the body and you know despite what I originally thought uh, I, I, I think it looks fantastic what we see on the plate there and I think if we had more sand we'd see more clear shapes and, you know, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So I really hope you've enjoyed this demonstration today. Um, never seen anyone do this before, so, so I hope uh, you know, you've, you've seen something new as well. So thanks so much for watching. If you love this stuff, if you like, if you want to hear some gong, please you know, find someone that's doing a sand bath. Come, come see one of mine, or, or if you're somewhere else in the world, then by all means, go and experience a sand bath. I promise you, you will feel amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, everyone.